pause. I'm just going to do a quick review of a CT scan on a patient that we're about to operate on. So this is a uh, French Bulldog that has an epulis, acanthomatous epulis. Um, we can see it on the CT scan here. So this is the orbit right here. That's the zygomatic arch right there. That's the infraorbital frame. And then we've got this big mass sitting right here. Some big maxillary arteries coming in there. It is mostly lateral to the molars. Um, and so what we are planning on doing is a, uh, an uh, incision or a osteotomy of the zygomatic arch there, probably cut through the vert vertical ramus of the mandible there, um, go medial and get to the medial orbit in here, just take the tip of that off there, come through the infraorbital foramen here, and then when we go into the oral cavity, we're gonna to have to go probably between the uh, last and second to the last premolars, and then come through the hard palate there, and then continue our osteotomy into the orbit. Let me just get rid of some more of this soft tissue here. Um, so this will just give us a little bit more of an idea of what we're doing. So we're gonna to have to take that section of the orbit out right there and then um, through the infraorbital frame and there, zygomatic arch there, and then in the oral cavity, we're gonna have to go between the last and the second to the last premolars um, through here. Now this is the um, palatine artery is gonna come out there. So if we can avoid that, that would potentially decrease some of our blood loss. Um, now I'm gonna close the 3D volume rendering, come into the um, axial slices and so we can see the big mass sitting right there and you can see that it's fairly peripheral with respect to the orbit. Um, the greater concern I guess is what's going on here medial to the vertical ramus of the mandible right there and so we'll just have to be aware of that um, and potentially extend our margin out a little bit. Uh, so if we come through and go back to our 3D volume rendering Uh, so coming back out here, let me add some soft tissue back on. Um, so uh, this is, you can see the skin here. You can see the swelling right around there. So what I'm probably going to do is a chyloplasty, which means that I'm going to split the cheek like this and then cut the skin or, or dissect the skin off the bone, reflect it up dorsally, cut through the zygomatic arch, which is going to be sitting right here. Let's just get rid of our soft tissue. So there's our zygomatic arch right there. Uh, so cut through the zygomatic arch, come into our medial orbit, right in there, cut through there. So really helps if you get a three-dimensional uh, assessment of uh, what's going on and, and an interp or uh, appreciation of what's going on in order to um, try to avoid important structures and make sure also that we don't cut into tumor. I'm also going to just try to add our blood vessels here so I can get a better idea of which blood vessels I'm going to encounter. So this would be a branch of the maxillary artery right there. That would be superficial temporal, I think, up there. So maxillary artery there, cutting through the cheek here, some other vessels in there. So again, just getting a, you know, an appreciation for what I'm going to run into when I get into, uh, into surgery. Now, we'll be live streaming this surgery in uh, probably a half an hour. So just uh, giving you a little taste of what is to come. I'm going to see if I can print this also um, and uh, so I can hang a photo of it in the theater wall, um, make it a little bit easier for me to... Um, get a quick look without having to uh, go back in to Horus. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you guys soon. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you'll get a ding on your phone the next time we live stream. And 